So today we are going to talk about the prions disease. Prions are the smaller molecules of the protein and it is very invasive and it is very um, very uh, disease causative factors and those kind of diseases which can damage the brain part especially and which can damage the skull area. This patient, I was treating something else and I found his energy was blocked due to prion and he has symptom of the burning urinations. So I found several prion diseases from him and I already found he had a little deformed his skull shape. So you may see his skull, his left side on top of the skull is very smooth circle, very like globe uh, form, but the right side, this part is really sunken, so you may see through the video. So I'm going to do the pendulum test and see if the energy is flowing fine on both sides of the brain. Let's see on this side first. So this side pendulum is moving in clockwise circular mode. Then I'm gonna uh, do the pendulum test on the sunken area of his uh, top skull. So the pendulum is not moving and it got stuck on uh, the spots. It means in this part, his energy is not circulating due to something. And I found it is the prion. Whenever the energy is not circulating, then your blood vessel is not flowing that well either. Then your nutrient and your oxygen does not being carried to that spot. That's why this spot is getting dysfunctioned. And later on, it caused the cell death or the sponge form. And the skull formation is deformed like that. So I'm going to put the prion test vial on top of his chest. And that is the prion test vial. And I'm going to test on his uh, stocked skull area. Now, the pendulum starts moving in big circular mode. It means his brain or his skull got deformed by the prion, probably several years, I believe. And I'm so glad because I got it today, and I can kick all of them out of the body then his brain cell, I hope, can recover. So I'm going to stop the pendulum test and I'm going to see how many prions disease this body has. Okay. This body has currently four different kind of prion diseases. And let me see how many years you have uh, had this prion diseases. This body just, I tested the, his brain database and this body had a prion diseases about for eight years. And I believe so. That's why his skull is already deformed. But he has really good intellectual brain function. 
and I'm so glad that he still has so good intellectual brain, uh, brain function and very smart um, intellectual connection. But his skull is already kind of sunken. And I found those pliant diseases that he has. So he has pliant disease, and one of them, the name is GSS. And Gerstmann Strausser Schneiker syndrome, and it is all probably like European, maybe doctor's name. The other is CJD. That is pretty well known, and it is Kruzfeldt Jacobs disease, and also known as human mad cow disease. And the other one is um, mad cow disease, or bovine spongiform encephalopathy, and that is very common when you eat the infected um, rib or T-bone steak, something like that. And there's another pliant disease and named mink encephalopathy. And I think it is uh, spreaded in the animal mink. So currently he has four pliant diseases. And I have to kill all those pliants because it is very uh, invasive. And I have to kill all of it. And usually pliant is a little different from other germs. And it is really difficult to get rid of um, all of it by any traditional medicine or any other um, protocol. But your brain can catch their all different prion molecules, and your brain is the only thing that can break all their molecules and their all their composition. And the patient will recover the health from all those prion diseases. In addition, there are several more prions diseases, but this patient does not have it, but I'm going to give you the names. So the other prions disease, and it is very actually pandemic in Dallas, uh, Texas, in 2013 in January. That is Kuru, Kuru prions disease, K-U-R-U. -U. And um, you can uh, look up the dictionary and it actually mess up your brain skull and it make a big holes, many holes, as like the seashore or pebble that, we, that has a lot of holes. But this patient does not have it. So one of them is Kuru, and the other one is CWD, and uh, also known as Washington disease of deer. And the other one is sheep's scrapie, and it is pretty common. And a lot of people also have sheep's uh, scrapie disease. And the other one is fatal familial insomnia. And this is special insomnia that you never can fall asleep until you die. So that's why it says fatal, and it is very genetically, the same family uh, share these prions but this patient does not have it. And I believe there are a lot of other prions diseases, but they, they are the well-studied and well-known. And fortunately, this patient, I got four prions diseases today, and I'm going to treat all of them, and I'm going to um, use his brain, then the brain is gonna use his own immune system and brain is going to rupture their own molecules of all the prions, and they are going to be uh, eliminated and uh, dumped out of this body. So after I turn off this video, and I'm going to start the, um, the protocol to get rid of all of it. Okay, thank you.